The mid-20th century was a time of tremendous social and technological change. Many jobs that were once considered essential have since become obsolete due to the evolution of society and advances in technology. Let's take a closer look at some of the fascinating jobs from the 50s, 60s, and 70s that no longer exist. First, we have the gas station attendant. In the days before self-service gas stations, customers would pull up to the pump and wait for an attendant to come and fill their tank. These attendants would also check the car's oil level and tire pressure, all while providing friendly customer service. But this service was a smile faded out of existence during the oil crisis of the 1970s. Oil companies figured that customers wanted to save some money at the pump and just do it themselves. Remember the milkman? This was a job that was once a familiar sight on neighborhood streets. Milkmen would drive their trucks and deliver fresh milk and dairy products to people's doorsteps. The job required an early start, but it was a reliable source of income. However, with the rise of supermarkets and the availability of refrigerated trucks, the milkman also became an obsolete profession. Another job that disappeared over time is the typist. In the era of the manual typewriter, businesses and individuals relied on skilled typists to produce written documents. These professionals were proficient in typing speed and accuracy. They were often employed as secretaries or administrative assistants. But with the invention of word processors and personal computers, the need for typists has diminished and the job has essentially disappeared. In the 1950s, switchboard operators were a common sight in almost every office. These operators would manually connect calls between different lines and handle messages, using a complicated system of cords and plugs. The job was labor intensive, requiring long hours and patience, but it was also an essential part of communication back then. In the days before direct dialing, telephone operators were an essential part of the phone system. They were responsible for connecting calls manually, often using switchboards with hundreds of connections. The job required good communication skills and a high level of concentration, as operators had to listen carefully to callers' instructions to connect them to the right party. However, with the advent of automatic dialing and computerized switchboards, the need for manual operators dwindled. Another fascinating job that no longer exists is the bowling pin setter. Before automated machines, bowling alleys employed pin setters to manually reset the pins after each frame. Pin setters were responsible for clearing the alley of fallen pins setting up the remaining pins, and returning the ball to the bowler. The job was physically demanding and required quick reflexes, as pin setters had to move quickly to avoid getting hit by the bowling ball. Once again, with the development of automated pin setting machines, the job of the pin setter became obsolete, and bowling alleys became more efficient and profitable. Today, you can still find some retro vintage places using hand pin setters, but it's not that common. In the era of film, movie projectionists were an essential part of the movie going experience. These skilled professionals were responsible for setting up and running the projectors, making sure that the film was properly threaded and adjusting the focus and brightness to ensure a high quality viewing experience. Projectionists would also queue up the film and switch reels at the appropriate time, all while maintaining the integrity of the film. However, with the advent of digital technology and the rise of streaming services, the need for movie projectionists vanished. While the job may no longer exist, 
we can appreciate the artistry and skill that projectionists brought to the movie theater experience. Another job that has largely disappeared is the elevator operator, a job that was still in demand in the mid 20th century. These operators were responsible for manually controlling the elevator and announcing each floor as they arrived. But with the development of automatic elevators, the job of the elevator operator largely disappeared. You still can find them in some hotels and in exclusive homes that are shared in large cities, but overall, you're not gonna find elevator operators today. Before the invention of the internet, many people relied on travel agents to book their vacations and trips. Travel agents would help customers find the best deals on flights, hotels, and rental cars and provide advice on travel destinations and activities. The job required good communication skills and knowledge of the travel industry. However, with the rise of online booking websites and travel apps, many people nowadays just book their travel arrangements by themselves. That being said, I am aware of a number of people that still use travel agents to book their Disney vacations everything from the hotels to the parks that they're gonna visit and booking special tickets and rides. In the 1950s, 60s, and 70s, radio DJs were a crucial part of the music industry. They'd introduce new songs, conduct interviews with artists, and provide commentary on current events. The job required good communication skills and a knowledge of music and pop culture. However, with the rise of streaming music services today and satellite radio, the role of the radio DJ has changed significantly, and many stations have actually switched to automated playlists. Many of the jobs of the past may now be obsolete, but they remain a fascinating glimpse into the history of our workforce. What other jobs can you think of that aren't done the same today? We'd love to read them in the comments. Thanks for watching Memory Mountain. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story looking back over the landscape of Americana.